Good afternoon from the old city of Jerusalem. I'm coming at you right now from Lion's Gate, which is the entrance to the old city in the Muslim quarter of Jerusalem. Today I'm going to walk with you down the entire length of the Via Dolorosa, which according to tradition is the path that Jesus took when he carried the cross to his crucifixion. So we'll stop at each of the 14 stations of the cross. Right here just inside of Lion's Gate is the birthplace of the Virgin Mary. Visitors to the old city of Jerusalem who enter at Lion's Gate pass this site on the way to the first station of the cross, which is where the Via Dolorosa begins. All right, so just through this arch and up this ramp here is where the Via Dolorosa begins at the first station of the cross. All right, this is the first station of the cross. This is currently an elementary school, but this is where Pontius Pilate is said to have condemned Jesus. So I'm gonna turn around, walk down the ramp, and head to the second station of the cross. So this is the second station of the cross. This is where Jesus is said to have received the cross. The second station of the cross is in the Franciscan Church of the Condemnation right here. Right next to the second station is the Chapel of the Flagellation right here. This is where Jesus is said to have been flogged. So from here, to walk down the Dio de la Rosa to the west. So this is not technically a station of the cross, but this is the prison of Christ right here. So this is the third station of the cross. This is where it's believed that Jesus fell for the first time.
So this is the fourth station of the cross. This is where it said that Jesus faced his mother in the crowd of people. It happened right here in these paving stones. So we're walking toward the southeast here. So this is the fifth station of the cross. This is where Simon was ordered to help Jesus carry the cross. Now we're going to walk to the west, continuing on the Via Della Rosa. He was on his way from Iraq to all the way to Jordan. Is that time? So this is the sixth station of the cross. This is where it's believed that Veronica wiped Jesus' face with a cloth. So this is the seventh station of the cross. This is where it's believed that Jesus fell for the second time. During the first century AD, this was the edge of the old city of Jerusalem, and a gate led out here to the countryside. So as we continue our walk, we'll imagine walking through the countryside for the remainder of the Via Della Rosa. So this is the eighth station of the cross. This is where 
Jesus told a group of women not to cry for him, but to cry for themselves and their children. So now the Via Dolorosa backtracks slightly. Turn south here. Yes. This is the ninth station of the cross. This is where it's believed that Jesus fell the final time on his journey. You can see we're in the shadows of the church, the Holy Sepulchre here. But we're going to retrace our steps this way of the Via Dolorosa.
All right, we've arrived. This is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This church was built on what is believed to be the site where Jesus was crucified and entombed and resurrected. Let's try to get a wide shot of this plaza here. Let's go inside. We've entered the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. So our journey is going to continue up these stairs. This is the tenth station of the cross. This is where Jesus was stripped of his garments. So this is the eleventh and the twelfth station of the cross. This is where Jesus was crucified and where Jesus died on the cross. You can see the piece of the rock still exists right there that the church was built on. So here the body of Jesus was taken off the cross going to go down to where Jesus' body was taken. Just move this in the way. 
This is at the 13th station of the cross. This is where Jesus' body was laid down after he died. This is the stone of anointing where he was prepared for burial. body is prepared for burial. He was taken this way to his tomb. structure here was built on top of the tomb of Jesus. So this is the 14th station of the cross. This is where Jesus was placed in his tomb and where he was resurrected. Thank you for joining me in my walk down the Via Dolorosa. So from the old city of Jerusalem, Shalom, Salam Aleikum, and peace be with you.